Me and my sister gonna paint the town this weekend and y'all know how we do. I can't be sold by brands and so forth. I mean, well, definitely not by other bitches saying, saying something's good just because she say it's good. I have to deal with people that uh, are trustworthy. And most often those are people that, I'm smelling this, this smells good. People that can share their, uh, mm, their failures as well as their successes. So, you know, even though I, although I have now been natural for a couple of years, I have never, not once ever in my life owned nor touched nor used in my hair shea butter. And I know that 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 to, be, that to be the staple of all, you know, natural. But I am that chick that is not typical in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So anyway, I also ordered some, some did some research and ordered what is known to be real shea butter. Although the fake shea butter is also known to to do what the hell is purchased to do. So from my understanding, fake shea butter is fine as well. So I got some real one. I won't tell you where I got it, but actually, I got a couple of them. <laughs> so that should last me for an eternity. But um, what I wanted to do was try for the first time. So anyway, for the first time last night, I put shea butter in this in this bad boy. So we are going to see what that does. It, it was very very thick and. I, I can't explain it. It didn't feel lovely. <laughs> it was thick and, and almost sticky like. So, but what I'm hoping as I put it in, what I'm hoping is that that thick and stickiness will ward against any uh, weather issues. Like if it's if it rains and it's not going to, but it's hot as hell, so it's probably going to be some some uh, glowing going on. And um, I'm I'm hoping that that will keep yeah it look like it looks like it you know when i've taken these down before i don't know if i've done it on camera when i've taken these down before they have been like really frizzy on my ends and wow yeah it looks like this stuff really protected my ends in the brain yeah wow and by wow i don't mean i'm fully impressed just yet because you have to wear that stuff you can't just say oh i love this stuff this is my absolute favorite i absolutely beware of people that say that for everything that they use i absolutely love i absolutely love so that's gonna be your code word for a fake uh product reviewer i absolutely love i absolutely love especially if they use uh two different uh, uh brands of the same product or two different types of the same stuff but they absolutely love them you can't have that many products under your cabinet and really be using all of them and even when you do you're going to use one up first so you you'll be stuck on that for a while and you shouldn't be able to do another review until you run out and then you're ready to start on your other brand but now you have all the time in the world to review every other brand in the world for everybody that you say contacted you and told you to review the stuff. <sighs> I went too far. Oh, it's hot as hell. I'm gonna need to get naked. <sighs> See, I can do this while Creek is not here because if I do this in front of him, he'll be like, oh, good, it's time to, it's time to hike on that air conditioner. And then I will be freezing for the remainder of the season. That's gonna happen anyway, cause it's it hit it's hit ninety right now degrees at it. So I should have put a little something on my lips, cause I look like a crackhead right now. Let me let me put a little something on my lips. Something. Okay. I decided to get a little naked too, cause cause it's hot. Because I'm getting better at this uh, flat twisting as well. Y'all know I like to do that. But I hadn't, uh, I kind of stopped flat twisting for about, I guess, two weeks. Because my hair has gotten long enough where I can actually put in one, two, three, like seven plaits and, and still get the same results. So 
uh, I'm going to do that. But I did want to go back to flat twisting since I was doing it for the first time with Shea Butter. Oh, that's going to, um, that's going to hold. I can tell my fuzzies are really limited. Really? Okay. It's a little more complicated to get through to my roots though to blend them together but It feels like when you retwist this stuff with the, with the shea in it, you not I'm not gonna need to, uh, cause you can feel that. I'm gonna not gonna need to put any more product in there until I wash my hair again. I'm just going to use some moisture and retwist it when needed. You know what? I should really also yeah. I'm gonna not retwist to see how this turns out just with the bonnet, how it maintains. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so I would definitely use the use uh, the shea okay, for now, you know. So again, I use this mm, this smelly good stuff mm, from Love Peace and TG makes it Love Peace and Planet, and the stinky uh, unrefined. Straight from the motherland I haven't used yet. That smells pretty bad. So I would like to be able to find a cherry almond scent and um, whip it in there so, it, so that my hair will be delicious smelling. Okay. So eventually when I get ready to go to, tonight or tomorrow night, I will put, um, well I'll put a bonnet on until I get ready to leave and then maybe i'll get some pictures of it's supposed to be a political shindig and then my sister and i are gonna go shoot some pool so i can break in my steak that she bought me now for a recap so you know what i did put in the i used the leave-in conditioner i used my favorite shampoo and conditioner i don't really you know what your hair likes and you know what you prefer to use and if you super mag mega uh negro natural nazi uh chick that only wants organic stuff that by the way you don't know that that's really organic stuff but use whatever you use and um because i ain't knocking the effort to, to try and be organic otherwise i wouldn't be having some of the things that i have under the impression that it too is organic but anyway I shampoo, I detangle with my fingers during my shampoo. Um, oh, that's a lot. I shampoo my hair first from, of course, the scalp out to get to the ends. And then when I condition my hair, because the conditioner makes it more palpable to do that, I um, finger detangle in the shower and, until I'm able to just blindly run my fingers through without getting any snags. And then I just, of course, remove the excess uh, shedded hair 
I get out of the shower and I put all my my leave-in conditioning crap on it. I tried. Oh, there's one other popular product that I tried that didn't really. The whole Shea Moisture Line didn't do it for me. My niece who did my hair um, the last time, uh, you she that she gave me that for Christmas. My nieces gave me that for Christmas uh, last Christmas, so I was able to try that. But again, you know, she knows I'm not really much of a brand whore, so uh, I wasn't really moved. And I, to be fair, I already had not just set against it, just because there were so many phony um, heifers on YouTube really promoting it. So I kind of like, you know, I go against the grain. I tend to do that. I'm I'm usually the odd man out. 